Top conservatives in the House Freedom Caucus are defending President Trump. Donald John Trump NFL freezes policy barring players from protesting during Anthem McConnell spokesman on Putin visit. There is no invitation from Congress's petition urges University of Virginia not to hire Mark Shortmore's performance at the Helsinki summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Members of the group applauded the president's diplomatic efforts, arguing the media has placed too much focus on his remarks at a post-summit press conference with Putin and not enough on his actions. I think the good news is there was a summit. Rep. Warren Davidson where an Earl Davidson House conservatives criticize media, not Trump, for Putin furor. Trump vows to stand with House GOP, 1,000%, on immigration key conservative presses for shield law after seizure of NYT reporters' records more, our Ohio, said at a press conference. I think it was good for the president to be engaged in diplomacy. This is consistent with efforts under George W. Bush and Barack Obama. The reality is people are upset about what President Trump has said but they're not giving him credit for what he's done, said Davidson, who highlighted sanctions imposed on Trump's watch and the dismissal of people from the Russian consulate. Instead of getting credit for that, people look for the most partisan narrative. Trump has come under bipartisan fire for taking Putin's word that Russia did not interfere in the U.S election over the findings of the U.S. intelligence community. He criticized special counsel Robert Mueller. Robert Swan Mueller saw C. U.S. should applaud choice of Mueller to lead Russia probe Moore's investigation and slammed FBI agent Peter Strzok as a disgrace at the joint press conference with Putin and described the Russian leader's suggestion that Mueller's team cooperate with Russia's own investigation as an excellent offer. Speaker Paul Ryan Paul Davis Ryan Dems unveil slate of measures to ratchet up pressure on Russian national Dems make play in Ohio special election Trump vows to hold second meeting with Putin more R. Weiss is among the Republicans who have criticized Trump's response. On Tuesday, he described Russia as a menace. Members of the House Freedom Caucus appeared more interested in pushing back at fellow Republicans' criticism of Trump than they were of criticizing Russia. Ralph Norman Ralph Warren Norman House conservatives criticize media, not Trump, for Putin furor races to watch in Tuesday's primaries Dem win South Carolina congressional primary despite abuse revelation more, RSC, said some comments critical of Trump by Sen. John McCain John Sidney McCain controversial Trump judicial nominee withdraws Trump vows to hold second meeting with Putin ex Montenegro leader fires back at Trump, strangest president in history more, RREs were unwarranted. McCain in a statement on Monday labeled the Trump-Putin presser as one of the most disgraceful performances by an American president in memory. Norman also criticized former CIA director John Brennan. John Owen Brennan there was nothing remotely treasonous in Trump's performance with Putin. Brennan, I'm hoping to shake some sense into people around Trump. Clapper, Intel officials showed Trump evidence of Putin's role in election meddling more for saying that Trump's comments were treasonous. Norman said Brennan was actively undermining the sitting president of the United States. Norman then said the media should focus more on the positive aspects of the summit. This president is great at reading people. He knows that Mr. Putin is not a choir boy. He's not an angel, he said. He'll do whatever he can to advance Russia, but I'm glad we've got the summit and I wish they, the media, would focus on the positive aspects of his actions. Rep. Andy Biggs, Ares, said he thought questions from reporters on Russian interference and whether Putin has damaging information about Trump or his family were inappropriate. I thought it was really odd that a reporter in Helsinki, Finland, after the conclusion of a brief summit would ask President Trump the question that triggered the whole odd reaction that the summit was a failure because President Trump didn't castigate and attack Vladimir Putin, he said. I thought that was interesting and just a little unsettling. I thought it was also bizarre as I was watching someone ask a question whether Vladimir Putin had anything on the president and his family, you know what gave me a little angst over that? The idiocy over those two questions, Trump has also blamed the media for the criticism of his performance. Media criticism has been notable because it has not just come from regularly critical voices of Trump on CNN and MSNBC, but from more usually friendly terrains such as Fox News. Former Speaker Newt Gingrich, our guy, who is often fawning in his comments about Trump, said Monday that the president had made the most serious mistake of his presidency at the Putin summit. While conservatives have largely supportive of Trump's handling of the Russia summit, a number have been critical of his remarks. Today's press conference between President Trump and Vladimir Putin was a missed opportunity to hold Russia accountable for their meddling into our 2016 presidential election. I don't agree with President Trump's comments that his regime didn't interfere, Rep. 
Ted Yoha Theodore, Ted, Scott Yoho House Conservatives criticize media, not Trump, for Putin furor America stands to lose as China places bets on developing world Hillicon Valley, new insider trading charges against ex-Equifax exec, 320M potentially exposed a new data breach, Adidas warns of potential hack, Amazon enters pharmacy market, California lawmakers pass privacy bill more, R. Florida, said in comments after the summit. Justin Amash Justin Amash House leaders clash over resolution backing ICE Trump Dems have a death wish GOP lawmaker Trump went out of his way to appear subordinate at Putin press conference more Armish said he also disapproved of the president's comments tweeting our main concern should be the president's bizarre behavior with respect to Putin we have to see what Mueller finds, if anything, when asked by a constituent if he believed Putin or American intelligence community, a person can be in favor of improving relations with Russia, in favor of meeting with Putin, and still think something is not right here, he tweeted Monday. Representative Mark Meadows, RNC, the chairman of the Freedom Caucus, said he's not afraid of pushing back against the president when it's warranted. But he said the Russia summit didn't merit the harsh criticisms of Trump. Meadows went on to say that Congress should focus its attention on passing legislation to fight election interference instead of criticizing Trump's remarks. We are critiquing a press conference today instead of critiquing our own inaction as it relates to that, he said. When are we going to get serious about the fact that cyber hacking is not only a current problem, but a future problem that will undermine our democracy and when are members in the Senate and the House going to do that? This story was updated at 3.18 p.m.